Thinking of plugging into a career working with computers? Information and communication technology programs offered at community colleges can help you boot up your future. Take a look. Here's your router. It'll go to the firewall. What you hear is that there's no jobs available for people with yesterday's skills who were taught with yesterday's techniques. But there are plenty of jobs available for people with tomorrow's skills who were taught with advanced instructional techniques. So we connect everything to the hub and then something off the router? I think students are naturally drawn to careers in IT and ICT. They're immersed in it. Telecommunications, networking, security, wireless. They live, eat, and breathe this stuff. And they assume that they know everything about it just because they do it every day. But then once you get them in a class, they really start to see the mechanics behind how all of this stuff is happening. And I think one of the reasons why the community college uh, is such a great avenue for that is, is you know, we are you know, the hands-on teachers. So I do virtual clones. We all really try to promote the hands-on aspects. So if after two years you need a job, you can pretty much hit the ground running. There's a lot of different career options and a lot of different career opportunities for people with this kind of background. The kinds of skills that you need vary widely, but I think a tremendous interest in technology and a passion for being able to solve technology-based problems uh, are the two principal ingredients for success. There's a number of different paths you can take it. We have the customer engineer role. They do the break fix type activities, replace the parts, work on all the different systems. And then you have an implementation engineer. It sort of works closer with the customer and that they do a lot of configuration type things. You have to know the customer environment a little bit. You could be a lab engineer, work on a specific product, and we do that on a daily basis. Uh, we have a, a day and a night shift. If somebody's looking at a career with a traditional telecommunications company like a Verizon or an AT&T, with a two-year degree, you can get a job in a company like that, and you can establish a career track. Another way students can go is they can start their own businesses. There's a lot of technician work now with this whole this home technology integration area. We also have students going to work for places like hospitals. The work that I do right now at, at the hospital, I actually am a first uh, level uh, technician and uh, there are some higher level network engineers that actually do this kind of job and uh, that's something that I might be looking forward to doing in the, in the future, you know. That's why I've come to the school. The huge potential and huge opportunity there is the IT and communications infrastructure for our health system is, is updated to modern, uh, you know, to modern technology. I think it's important for, the, for students to go in IT. There always is a need for talented people in the industry and for people that want to excel and that have had an information technology background or a love for computers. It's a great career path. If you're looking for a challenging and secure field to work in, information and communication technologies might be right for you. Be sure to check out your local community college to see what programs they offer.